What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, L13 Superman. Um, I'm here just uh, real quick before I get into the subject about what's bothering me about Halo 4. I'm gonna apologize real quick to you guys because uh, I haven't been I haven't uploaded like in a week. I'm sorry for the guys who do follow me. Um, something got messed up with my Xbox Live account and it was glitching and all types of crazy things. So I finally got down to it. It took a while. Yeah, it did take that long because uh, Xbox customer service sucks. So. I had to figure it out for myself. I finally got it up and running. So, yeah. All right. Um, if you didn't catch my last commentary, I was going to talk about what what uh, Halo 4 has been bothering me. What basically um, 343 didn't have to change about what Bungie did. Um, I'm going to get into it right now. Um, small little, small one. Not, not a big deal. But it bothers me when I play oddball. Especially I'm on the run to go get the ball. And I don't got time to look at the right side of the screen. If that makes sense. The back button, you know, um, yeah, that messes me up. It stops you every when you hit the back button to see the score. It stops you from moving. That's a big no-no. That's at least a good few feet where you could glance at that real quick while you're still running. That's a big problem for me. It might not be a problem for you guys, but it's for me. Um, the 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 score, the way they got the score laid out. Now it's Infinity Slayer. Now it's like up to 600. Now, what kind of what kind of sense does that make? Why change that? Leave the way Bungie did it. Leave it uh, 1 to 50. It's real simple. Don't have to do the math while you're playing. And that's it. And some people get confused when they're playing Infinity Slayer because the ordinance and the assisting and all that, they think it goes towards the score because it's, you know, based by hundreds. It makes no sense. Some people get confused about that. Um, another thing, small thing, no real big, big deal, the kill cams. If you're going to do kill cams, do the kill cams right, please. That's a big deal to me. Um, get that, get that going. And uh, kill cams is, is is a hit and miss thing with me. I like kill cams for the campers because it, it tells you where they at. But another thing, kill cams don't make no sense. You you look at the kill cam and a guy is shooting at a wall and you dead. That makes no sense. Fix the kill cams if you're gonna put kill cams. That makes no sense, please. Um, the weapons. Oh my god. Especially if you got a binary rifle. Oh my god. It pisses me off. Let me let me get into that part. Binary rifle or whatever strong weapon you have. Some, let's say you go pick it up on your ordinance drop. Somebody catches you and snipes you. Or they're across the map. So you know they're not going to go pick that weapon up. So you run back to that weapon. And it disappears. Why does it have a 10 second life period? I don't understand that. People talking about it's the lighting in Halo 4. And it can't hold weapons on the floor or something like that. That pisses me off. That's a big, big deal. Um, here's another situation. Friendly fire. Leave it alone. People who've been playing Halo know what they're walking into. Leave it alone. You can't betray your own teammates. Leave that alone. If you get betrayed on purpose, boot them. Plain and simple. Leave it alone. Why? Why? Why put no, no? Uh, I'm getting pissed off. This is pissing me off. Why no betrayals? That makes no sense. If some if a teammate has rockets and I'm fighting two of his teammates and he just fires a rocket off at me because he knows he's not gonna kill his own people and I die, how fair is that for me? What's the, what's the chance of me living and clutching it? There is none because friendly fire is on. I mean it's off. So that makes no sense. Um, let me see. Um, the X on the map. If there's no more, there's no more uh, one shot on my X. What happened to that? There's no X on the maps. What's going on with that? That that that's another that's another thing that's bothering me. Um, another thing for playing oddball a lot is the auto pickups, and that's on every playlist because I checked obviously. What's with the auto pickups? That picks that pisses me off. It should be a button where I can pick up the eyeball or catch the eyeball. Now I'm in the middle of a battle and somebody throws an eyeball at me and then I'll be honest with me because for me catching the ball and throwing it back it takes about two seconds makes no sense that's a bad thing i love the fact that you could throw the eyeball and catch it that's a good good idea perfect it actually made eyeball fun and people's loving that but why the auto pickup that that pisses me off pick it up with the button obviously you know um uh let me see um file share browsing another thing is going through people's file shares takes forever if you're in a lobby, I know you guys want to make it fancy and everybody can see each other's armor and everybody's lined up across, you know, in the bottom. 
but I have to click on everybody's name individually and go through file share individually. By the time I'm done, the game started, I only looked at two people instead of the whole team. If you notice a file share, people don't put, people's file shares don't even be filled anymore. Like, it's like nobody cares about file share anymore. You guys killed that. Bring, bring that back, please. Um, the fast respawn button, I understand about that. But one thing you guys messed up about that is the exterminations. The exterminations are failing. Unless you rocket the entire team at that moment, it's the only way you're gonna get an extern. Because people are fast respawning fast. It's, it's that that's spending it, that's messing everything out. And the number one thing that's been bothering me about this game is the the loadouts. Everybody starts with something different, so nobody is on an equal platform. That is not fair. That's not fair, plain and simple. Number one, number real number one thing that's bothering me. Where's the rank playlist? We need a rank playlist. People of skill want a rank playlist. People who are not good, put them in social. Mid game joining, live that, leave that, leave it for social. Obviously, if you're playing rank, you know you're getting into. So you know if the team is is good, then the team is good. Too bad you lost. That's how it should be. Leave the mid game joining for the social and put rank playlist no mid joining please this game is ended my commentary is done i hope you guys like my commentary you got any opinions about anything just leave a message subscribe to my channel leave a comment we could discuss it stay tuned for my next one i got more to talk about please